Hello friends, this is Durga. As part of Oracle Performance Tuning Loading Data, in this video I will try to cover um, about append. So append or direct path load. So when you try to load data into Oracle, there are primarily two ways to do so. One is the direct path load, which can be done uh, using SQL loader or even using insert statement using insert append. Uh, even export, uh, sorry, import data pump uh, actually does the load into the tables using direct path. And the other way of loading data is by using insert statement, uh, etc. So before getting into the details, uh, let me uh, emphasize that most of the people think that whenever you want to insert data into the table, only insert inserting the data. Um, insert using append which is using direct path load is better than the conventional way, way of doing that. It is purely a myth. You should not do uh, insert append in many cases. I will show them uh, as part of this video. And uh, also, Also, before getting into the details about advantages and disadvantages of uh, using insert append uh, or diet path load, um, we need to recollect um, the redo log, undo, uh, um, and, uh, and also we need to recollect high water mark that will be used when we try to uh, run the data loads using diet path. As explained uh, earlier, uh, in, uh, as part of file uh, operations um, in uh, Oracle, um, uh, whenever you try to insert data into the table using the conventional approach, it does generate undo so that uh, uh, the state of the... Um, so before getting into that, uh, let's uh, re-emphasize on uh, how uh, the DML operations happens in Oracle. So whenever you create a table and whenever you insert first time into the table, uh, first uh, the extents will be created depending upon the um, uh, table properties. Uh, extent is nothing but contiguous blocks. So uh, like this, these eight blocks. So each of these square is, uh, represents a block and uh, this rectangle which is nothing but a group of these contiguous blocks is called as extent. So the first extent will be, will be created when you try to insert uh, uh, the, into the table for the first time. Once the extent is created as a second step, IO will happen. So uh, Oracle will decide which blocks the data needs to be inserted and those blocks will be copied it into the memory. and. Uh, uh, Along with copying into the memory, it will also have a copy of the block in the undo in uh, if we have to roll back, the old copy will be applied uh, um, again on the, um, on the file system. And, uh, 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 and then the operation will happen, so all the records will be inserted into the block and that block will be copied to redo. And depending upon the commit or rollback, either this block or um, which is from memory or this block which is in the undo will be applied on the file system to preserve the state of the block uh, in a desired fashion. So that's how the insert operation happens in a typical uh, approach. But when you use uh, uh, and and uh, it will try to reuse the blocks under the high water mark. I have explained high water mark also as part of the earlier video. Uh, uh, high water mark is the last block related to a, a particular table. There will be only one high water mark for each table. So if there are ten extents, the tenth extent and the last block of the tenth extent will be uh, having the high water mark. So as long as the data fit into this, uh, uh, fit in the blocks within the high water mark, it will try to leverage it. If not, it will allocate new new blocks and it will reset the high water mark, and then it will start doing the I/O. That is the typical um, insert approach. When it comes to insert append, this is the main difference between the insert and insert append. When it comes to insert append, always 
so if you run if you try to insert one record at a time using insert append for each and every record it will go to the high watermark it will allocate a new extent from the high watermark and it will insert the record it will reset the high watermark every time it will allocate new storage every time even it will not check whether the existing blocks uh, can fit this new record it will always reset the high watermark so if you don't use uh, insert append or diet path load uh, carefully then uh, there will be significant impacts on the table and now let us see practically how it works so for this what i'm trying to do is okay i have a, a table called deck of cards and the deck of cards baseline has only 52 records okay it has 52 records okay so let me truncate this deck of cards table okay table is truncated and uh, let us see the properties of the table so i'm copying uh, So you can see that so once you insert the record and uh, and then whenever you truncate the table there will be at least one extent even though it uh, clears up all the extents there will be at least one extent now you can see that there is one extent so I will be uh, inserting into the table 10,000 times it will take a few seconds, I think uh, 50 seconds or something. Okay. So it will run for some time. Oh, it is completed. Okay, let me see. select count of one from deck of cards okay there are 520,000 records and I'm committing it and now again let me run these commands You can see that there are 25 blocks out of which uh, up to 15 it's only 64 KB so this is I think 1, M, uh, 1 MB and then there are uh, 10 more 1 MB so it's around 11 MB we can actually compute by running this query sum of bytes 1024 1024 and how much it, time it took around 2 seconds probably very fast ok so the size is 11 MB now let's do the do it with the insert append so I am trying to break the myth that insert append when we are trying to just insert the records um, into the uh, table is always faster which is not true so I am running now with insert append let me copy these things Okay, I need to truncate the table also. So table is truncated. Now let you can validate that it don't have anything except one block. And previously we have 
uh, after uh, using conventional approach of insert without append hint append hint uh, actually forces to reset high watermark for each and every insert statement we have okay so i am now running this one so using conventional approach we have 25 blocks out of which 10 blocks are of size 1 mb and there are 16 blocks of size 64 kb total 11 mb now i am running with insert append without insert append those 10,000 inserts just took 2 seconds. Now you see that it's already been quite some time. To monitor you can actually go to the Oracle Enterprise Manager. It's a little bit slow. Yeah, now you can click on this and you can check the statistics. It ran only 1847 times so far. So it will take a while. I will not wait until then. Uh, so I will open another session So I am connecting to the database From command line Because uh, my SQL developer will hang after some time and I will not be able to run the queries uh, from uh, uh, From SQL developer so for that reason I am actually logging into the cluster directly Okay, now I can run this query. See, it's already 29 MB. Earlier with conventional approach, it was only 11 MB. Now it is increasing quite significantly. Count, I am also getting the count of uh, uh, the extents. Now you can see that there are 49 uh, extents already. Whereas earlier, there were only 25 extents. And you can see the progress from uh, uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager. It has run 4,592 times, which is only half of the 10,000 times, and it already took 51 MB, uh, sorry, 36 MB space and 51 extents. So the myth of using insert append uh, to whenever there is a, there are only inserts involved into a table is broken you should not use insert append uh, uh, for all uh, for all insert only feed, uh, queries they uh, it, it can actually backfire and uh, you will waste a lot of storage and a lot of resources on the database because if you see the query is still running which means it, it has taken some resources uh, so you will be wasting the resources and the query will be slow and it, it will be wasting the storage as well okay so you have to be extremely careful while using insert app and, and it is still running already it has taken 47 mb whereas it was originally 11 mb only so it has wasted 36 mb for this simple uh, 520000 record uh, table okay that being said uh, you should you should be very cautious when to use insert append and when you should not and i will uh, try to cover um, uh, the scenario of when you should use insert append as part of the next video uh, and also i will try to explain what are the advantages uh, you will get insert, uh, by using insert append in such scenarios over the conventional approach okay 
and uh, it's uh, it's more of a uh, it's uh, the intention is not the difference between uh, insert append and conventional insert the intention is to explain you the difference between direct path insert and the uh, direct path load and conventional load so direct path load can be simulated using insert append so i will be using insert append as much as possible to easily simulate that but whatever i am explaining is not limited to insert append alone it is about direct path load versus conventional load where um, and the in case of conventional load uh, the blocks under the high water mark will be reused for the dml operations whereas in in case of direct path load for each and every uh, insert statement uh, or direct path load statement the high water mark will be reset and more and more storage will be allocated whenever this high water mark is reset so that's the main thing which i'm trying to cover not just insert append versus conventional insert i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide feedback or ask any technical questions please use the comment section of the video and if you uh, have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye